Hello guys, this is Anish Ridge here with another tutorial on um, Cinema 4D and this is on walking simulations and all these uh, uh, on character simu simulations and stuff like that so all you have to do is tick the box and press play and he runs like that, I don't have much time for this tutorial, I have a lot to cover in 15 minutes so he runs forever and yeah and you have a walk simulation make sure they're not ticked at the same time or your rig gets messed up and yeah and I figured this all out on my own actually I watched a tutorial but uh, he mentioned something about using user data also and yes I'm using user data and he didn't really show you how to use it but I figured it out on my own which is cool and <laughs> yeah so and make sure your C motion is outside your now otherwise it will glitch out when you put it on a path so let me make a path and just demonstrate what you can do with it so I'm gonna I want him to run in this direction like that go into the simulation you want tick the box drag the spline oh I forgot to show you you need to make it a path under objects and make it a hundred centimeter ah no just I'm putting it at default put it in the spline press play and he should run along that line now and but if you want him to run faster just increase that if you want him to take more steps while running just decrease that the frame of frames and stuff like that okay so now let's get to the tutorial um, yeah so let's get to the tutorial let's off that and let's move this to a layer and delete that. Okay, um, content browser, uh, download this thing. It's a perfectly rigged, uh, perfect Minecraft body rig control thing, and it has all the names, uh, correct names for them. And as you can see, the rotation is perfect, like it's zeroed out. You need that, and this is mm, perfectly in a box, and this also can't really explain it, but. Yeah, everything's perfect and you need a perfect rig for this so I suggest zeroing everything out like that and stuff like that and now we need to put, put it uh, put it in then we need you need to bind it by yourself watch my tutorial and so this is the now I made a sorry Steve ah oh, Steve okay this is the now I'm going to use um, put all the user data in so click on user data uh, click on your now make sure you have that selected and make add a user data and name this left leg p because we're rotating it on the p axis for our simulation and if you're getting confused please comment and I will reply and tell you what's going wrong make it a float slider make it a degrees and negative 360 um, limit and then make another one, copy and paste it and name this one right leg oh actually left leg 2p because this is the knees, we need to rotate the knees also and then, then another one, paste and name this one right leg p and paste another one right leg 2p and add another one and these will be the arms I'm not gonna do the arms but you probably will figure it out on your own after I make this tutorial and I'm just gonna go make the body and actually the origin which is going to move the body up and down um, make it a float slider and make it a meters and put this at 100 and put it negative 100 also just in case and now we have all our user data here uh, do we have everything make sure you have everything the arms and the legs just copy and paste that in um, and you should have 8 uh, 9 10 10 all together including the body which is this one over here or oh, this one this one also and you can uh, make it as realistic as you like you can make more than just one uh, simulation so now let's add a espresso so cinema 4d tags espresso 
just right click here and you can see it drag in your Steve yeah, with all the uh, with all the user data go to user data and click here user data user data user data oh my god yeah it took a very long time to make this simulation and to figure it out I had to watch so many tutorials on how to work Expresso and how to work user data and stuff like that so now uh, drag in your bones and uh, link them to the appropriate name so now go click on the blue thing go to coordinates rotation and uh, let me see which rotation it is sometimes it just confuses me sometimes so green which is the P so get the P rotation of this one rotation P axis and drag it onto the correct place left leg left leg and yeah so that's it and now drag drag in your second one if you're getting confused watch my tutorials uh, and you should be expert with cinema 4d after that so rotation edge i think because there's like a small glitch something oops ah. yeah edge um rotation edge drag it to the second one because i named it leg left two which is the knee and you just drag the knee onto the knee hope you got that now drag the other leg uh coordinates rotation p put it in the correct place right leg oh did i did i drag the right one hope i did uh okay rotation p Yeah. Okay, that's correct. Come on. Okay, and now grab grab your origin, which is the first bone you made, and get the position on the x axis. For some reason, it's the x and not the y axis, which moves it up and down. So move it on the x axis. See, and this is the x axis. Okay, so now go into Expresso. Oh, not Expresso. Um. Steve and just check if everything works so everything should work now and this is basically what I use like it's like the camera movement tutorial it's sort of like that um, the same concept and okay so now we need to get C motion finally and click on the box make it a tick click on C motion drag your Steve Leonel in there click on it go to li uh, click on actions and let's move the left leg first so click on add uh, click on left leg and then add click on the left leg right click here show in separate window and put that 360 degrees and then click and drag here put it at zero and if you're having problems with the arms just comment and I will make a tutorial on that also since you're not getting the hang of it <laughs> but you should be able to Okay, put this at 0.25. Oh, by the way, hold control to make another dot. Just hold control and click to make another dot. So now when you hit play, it should follow the, like that dot and stuff. Can't really explain it. Put it at uh, the quarter point, and I'm just going to show you how it basically works. I'm going to make a run simulation. So this should be at 0.2 on the y axis. The higher you go, the more uh, it goes up and now we want it to go backwards so put it at that and we want, we want it to go the same amount I'm not going to go into really high detail and make it the third the, we want it to be exact because you know it's minecraft and everything's exact so I'm going to put it at 0 0.75 which is 3 fourths of it and I hope that looks good yeah that's about right and now let's get the next one so click on steve get life flag 2 p and add it to steve click on it go make it 360 degrees showing separate window drag move that to zero hold control click here oh wrong direction we want it to be like that and put it at the quarter point and let's put it at two 
maybe two five. Yeah, two five is okay. Make another one at the half point. And then let's put this at like one. And then put another one at the seven five point and put this one at zero five. Oh that's a horrible look, but put this at zero seven five. It looks like it's pushing off, but it's okay, I guess. Good for now. The legs should go higher up. You can do that. And now, let's see. What did I want to tell you? Oh, yeah. Um, as you can see, it's curving around like this. And it's a very, it adds a really good effect and everything. So that's why C motion is a better way of making simulations than with uh, copy and pasting it. It's like adds a rough edge or whatever. Uh, so if you select all, you can make the spline. So you can actually be a bit more precise using splines. Like you can turn this around like that, and like that, and you can make it linear, which is like a just straight on, no stopping, no curvy looking thing. So uh, that's that. Make it cubic, which is default. And now let's just make the same thing on the other side, except by making it like a opposite. Add the right leg. Click on it. Make it 360. Show in separate window. Click and drag. Click and drag. 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 Put it at zero and do the same thing. Control. And this one's opposite, so we move it down. Make it halfway point. We want it to be precise. Five and two. And now I'm going to put in the next one, the knees. Add that one to the Steve. And go, 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 go. Click on that. Make it 360 degrees. <gasps> okay. Now click and drag this. You can even use goals and poles, whatever you want. Um, also, I don't, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, so now I just do the same thing. Oh no, it's rotating in the wrong direction. Which means I put the, it on the p-axis. But you probably can figure out what's going. Uh, yeah. Just put this on the p-axis. It won't take a long time. Rotation H axis, not P axis. Okay, now it should be right. Oh, yeah, that's not right. Um, C motion. Yeah, okay, so I did a mistake there, but you probably can figure out if you're having problems. I'll make a part two of this tutorial. And yeah, so. You should look at yourself walking and you can make that simulation unless you're like deformed or something. Not, not to be. Okay, that's a joke. Um, and then, yeah, so make your, uh, make your simulations and have fun with it. Sea motion is an awesome thing. And yeah, so thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned for new, more animations. I'm getting better at Cinema 4D. And I will soon make animations better than Captain Sparkles, <laughs> I hope, at least. So, thanks for watching, and 